Hi there, today I'm here with Levi and we're going to be reviewing this HK or Heckler & Koch 416 AEG Airsoft 6mm BB rifle. We've got it loaded up here. We're going to have Levi tell you all the details about it. It is a very cool gun, but it can be dangerous. So Levi is trained. He has been to shooting school. So he really knows what he's doing and knows all the safety rules. And I'd be very safe using this. Make sure you have adult supervision if you are not an adult, especially as you're learning about it. And always wear goggles if you are going to be shooting at something that is close to you. Okay, Levi, why don't you go ahead and tell us a little bit about this rifle? Okay, so the first thing is that it charges so you don't really have to it's not just put the bb's in you have to charge it and how you charge it is here you pop this open by pushing down okay. should come off kind of hard and then you have this end to it and these are the batteries and then it comes with a charger to charge your gun okay and so do you take that off the gun and then put it on the charger that you have down below yep okay so you just disconnect from the gun and then you add that to this little piece right here and then you plug it in to charge it okay that makes sense and, and then you put it on really easily you just slide it back on it might be a little hard take a little strength but okay. And now show us the safety features and the, um, where to set it so that you can actually shoot it. Okay, the safety features are like this. So this goes all around of what you want to shoot. So this is no shooting at all. So if I press down the trigger, it won't shoot. But this is just one and this is rapid fire. So if you hold it down, it will keep shooting. Okay, that makes sense. And um, why don't you go ahead and pull out the mag. clip or the mag and show us how that works. So, and you saw some BBs fall out. Usually BBs will fall out after you've had it loaded already. So here's how it works. There's BBs here and then there's this little place. This is where you put all the BBs in. And then when you're ready to shoot it, down here there's going to be this thing that you push like this. And it should reload it. And if your gun stops shooting, you have to... Uh, do this on the bottom so it keeps shooting. Okay, so you push that bottom button on the bottom yep, when it stops actually shooting BBs, and that reloads this, this side part. of the clip. Yep. And as far as I remember, I think it's 250 BBs that this will hold, but it probably is about 30 BBs it that shoots will 30 shoot at a time. in a row. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. And um, what about this piece right here? This yep. move. That so right, right here. here, this, you uh -huh. push this down and pull it out. So if you're like tall and have long arms, you can adjust it. I like it here because my arms aren't really too big, so I could just put it here and it's pretty comfortable. But you can also change it to out here. And also, it comes with this little sling with carabiners that hold it in. You don't have to put it on, but I prefer it on in just in case it falls and it's a little easier. Is there anything else you could say about it? There is also a couple more things I can actually. So this right here, if you pull this it shows this part to see if it's dirty or something and it actually comes with a cleaner you could put in here if there's any dust in it Good and there's a couple that. more things okay this is the button that takes this out so you just okay, press this that. and it will come right out and this is the scope Let and you can okay, actually the adjust the scope and put it down if you don't want the scope at all so i'm gonna put the scope on and this adjusts the scope. Okay, and so if it's slightly off, you can adjust it one way yep. or another to make it more accurate? Yep, and then this will change how you see through the scope. So small, big, really okay. small, and normal. How long have you had it for? Uh, about a year. So we're going to go ahead and have Levi shoot at some a couple of cans. And then we've already shot before at the targets on the inside that you're seeing behind him. So we're going to shoot at the outside of the targets and just see how accurate he can shoot them. And uh, just see how, how it works. Okay, nice. Now why don't you just try and hit inside the circle on the um, targets to the right and to the left. Okay, now why don't you fully reload it and maybe just try and take the inside of one of those circles out. See how, see, just shoot it all, like rapid fire and okay. see how it does. Awesome. I think that's a pretty good demo, Levi. I wanted to give you a close-up of the targets. It's pretty accurate and you can see you can definitely take out a whole target if you rapid fire it. Not that this one took it out, you'd have to fire more, but yeah, with all those 250 BBs that it holds, you could take out the target.
Any last words you want to say about the Airsoft Heckler & Coke HK416? Not really. I just really like it. And it could be, it's pretty dangerous because it actually shoots really hard. Okay. So remember that. Be safe with this. And number one rule with guns. Always aim it to the ground. Right. Never add anybody, right? Yep. Okay. Even if they're a ground, toy gun because you could definitely do some serious. Okay. Ground or in the air. Never at somebody because you could still do damage even with a gun that is an airsoft gun like this. And that is our review of the Airsoft Heckler and Coke HK416 AEG 6mm BB rifle. I hope you liked this review. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, share this video, and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.